What do you think when you hear about the Special Olympics? Everyone has heard of the Special Olympics, and most people probably think that it's a program for children to have fun and play sports. But it is so much more than that. The participants are always so happy, like this little girl here, because they finally realize that they can do things that they never thought they could. It helps those with intellectual disabilities realize that they can and will succeed if they are given the chance to do so. The Special Olympics empowers the minds and bodies of both children and adults every day. So if you'd like to learn more about the Special Olympics, you can go to their website where I have all the details. First, I would like to talk to you about the history of the Special Olympics, then its principles, and finally the lives it has changed. Eunice Kennedy Shriver wanted to help the intellectually disabled. So in 1962, she started the first summer day camp in her backyard in Maryland. There they learned to work through their disabilities by participating in different sports and physical activities. And since then, it has not stopped growing. Today, it is a worldwide organization, and every day it grows more and more. The first international summer games were held in July of 1968. There, 1,000 individuals competed in both track and field and swimming competitions. In December of 1971, the U.S. Olympic Committee gave approval to the Special Olympics to use Olympics in their title, and today they are one of only two organizations that have the right to do that. The first international winter games were held in February of 1977. They were televised by ABC, NBC, and CBS. Over 500 individuals competed in both swimming and skating competitions. In 1997, healthy athletes became a goal of the Special Olympics. That meant that they provided health care to all their participants worldwide, which included free vision, hearing, and dental screenings, along with injury prevention and nutrition clinics. The Special Olympics started out as a day camp in a backyard and has emerged into a worldwide organization. Now their goals are to provide a safe and welcoming environment, along with opportunities to challenge themselves physically. The Special Olympics wants to provide the most enjoyable, beneficial, and challenging activities. The Special Olympics also tries to help intellectually disabled in any way they possibly can. According to the Special Olympics Connecticut Oxford website, the mission of the Special Olympics is to provide year-round sports training and athletic competition in a variety of Olympic type sports for both children and adults with intellectual disabilities, giving them continuing opportunities to develop physical fitness, demonstrate courage, experience joy, and participate in a sharing of gifts, skills, and friendships with their families, other Special Olympics athletes, and the community. Also according to that website, their philosophy is, the Special Olympics believes that through sports training and competition, People with intellectual disabilities benefit physically, mentally, socially, and spiritually. Families are strengthened, and the community at large, both through participation and observation, is united in understanding that people with intellectual disabilities in an environment of equality, respect, and acceptance. The Special Olympics also has many principles. One of their main principles is that the intellectually disabled will be accepted and respected in their community also that they have the chance to become productive citizens in society. Their activities also have to reflect the official Olympic movement, which means that all of their activities must celebrate both the moral and spiritual qualities of each and every one of their competitors and to enhance their dignity and self-esteem. The universal values of the Special Olympics are skill, courage, and joy. Not only do the Special Olympics provide year-round athletic training, but they change the lives of people every day. They improve the lives and attitudes in many different ways. One of the main ways is to help the competitors to believe in themselves and to realize that people do respect them, and for those who do not respect them, to not bring them down and, pu and push them back. According to the Special Olympics website, they also work with government and non-government organizations to develop new ways to include people with intellectual disabilities in all aspects of society. In 1962, it started out as a small day camp in a backyard and has not stopped growing, and today it is one of the world's most popular organizations. Not only does it promote physical fitness, courage, respect, and friendship, but it helps them realize that they can do anything that they put their mind to.